Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. In the last part, my mind just got blown. And this part, let's get our mind further blown. Play the video? Yeah. What is weapon? Ifana, can you comment on the thing called a weapon? Yes, Professor. The one the professor mistook for a Cetra was named Genova. That is the crisis from the sky. The planet knew it had to destroy the crisis from the sky. You see, as long as Genova exists, the planet will never be able to fully heal itself. Back then, weapon was a weapon, the planet produced of its own will. Yes, but there is no record of weapon ever being used. A small number of the surviving Cetra defeated Genova and confined it. The planet produced weapon but it was no longer necessary to use it. So, Weapon no longer exists on this planet. Weapon cannot vanish. It remains asleep somewhere on the planet. Even though Genova is confined, it could come back to life at some time. The planet has not fully healed itself yet. It is still watching Genova. Where is Weapon? I don't know. I can't hear the voice of the planet well. Times have changed. The planet is probably watching the situation closely. Thank you, Ifana. That'll be all for today. That further, further reveals a bit of backstory. Genova is a calamity of the skies, which means she couldn't possibly be Sephiroth's mother. Frankly, it is still an it. I don't... Frick, it's not even a female. For all I care. If it's got... Excuse me, but if it's got breasts at least, it's... You can't call that female. I better see the freaking hole below the waist before I call it female. Play video. Confidential. This is actually two record, two videos. So they're not really videos, they're more like just black screen text. What are you doing, Profess- I mean, honey? Oh, I'm thinking of taping it on video. But the video's not working right. What are you going to tape? Is there still something I haven't mentioned? No, that's not it. I'm going to record my beautiful daughter. And when she's sleeping, her face looks like an angel. First, we have to figure out her name. We can take the video later. I've already decided. If it's a girl, then it'll be Eris. That's that. You are so selfish, but Eris is a good name. <laughs> it's a good name considering it came out of that forgetful head of yours. Right. Oh, the videotape. Right, I wasn't sure who was who there, but... Play video. What's the other confidential? Now this is a video. Video again? You just got through taping. Please don't say it that way. It's our lovely daughter, both yours and mine. Don't you want to capture her childhood on ta videotape? If you keep dotting on her like that, she won't grow up to be strong. Harris is different from the other children. I wonder what danger was await her. Never say that. I will protect you and Eris no matter what. You and Eris are my only treasures. I'll never let you go. I feel so much better now, darling. If I hadn't met you, I... Aww. Uh, who could that... I was just about to... Damn! How dare they intrude on our private time together. I'll send them away. Yes, at once. Who the devil? It's them! Uh oh. Who's them? <laughs> I've been searching for you, Ifana, or should I say, Cetra? Long time no see, Professor Gast. Hojo, how did you know? Believe me, I had to turn over a stone or two to find you. Two years I waited. That's how much I wanted this new sample. Ha ha ha! 
New sample. You don't mean Eris. Mm, Eris. What a nice name. <laughs> That's it. I'm severing all ties with the Shinra. Hojo, please leave. Please, Eris has nothing to do with it. All you want is me, right? Ifona! I'll need all of you for my experiment. You understand, don't you, Professor Gast? We can change the future of the planet. Don't worry, Ifona. I'll take care of this. Please don't put up a fight. I don't want any harm to come to my precious sample. Hmm, what a funny-looking camera. Guard, destroy it! Oh, uh... Be careful with her. <laughs> what? what are you doing, Professor? Ifana, take Aris and run! Ah! Darling! Oh, and, uh, don't forget the child. Hmm, a video, the ancient's weapon. <laughs> a mountain of treasure. Thank you, Professor. Uh, well, that explains how Eris got captured the first time. God damn you, Hojo. Every time I hear your name, the more I hate you. Anyway, that's pretty much done with that. That's all the backstory on Eris and her mother and her father, Professor Gast. Uh, that's... <coughs> that's just... Incredible. No, don't! It's a steep downgrade past here. It's dangerous. Please don't go. Well, thanks for your kindness. No, no, I, I just did what came natural. Alright, I'm not too busy now. Do you want me to teach you how to ride a snowboard? Maybe you should. Directional button up, kick off when stopped. Move left and move right. The two... Well, you know. Directional button down is brake. Square is also brake. X is jump. And if you hold directional button left, or when you'll edge left and you hold it with right, you edge right, which means tight turns. Do you want me to explain again? No thanks. Anyway. Now let's say the other thing. I'm still going. Damn, I was just being nice. What the? Who are those people over there? Looks like trouble. Oh, you. There, there they are! Hurry! You. Yes, ma'am! Huh? I don't have time for the Turks. Glad. <sighs> I won't let you go any further. Why? What's down there? It's a secret. It doesn't... It really doesn't matter, but you really got guts doing my boss in like that. Don't you mean boss? Sang? That wasn't us. Sephiroth did it. Well, Helen is not going to believe us, is she? No! Don't think you can fool me, liar! Ugh, I'm not lying. It was Sephiroth. Don't try to act innocent. I'll never forget it. Oh, man. Looks like talking alone will cut it. You're going to have to feel some pain. Just you and me. No, I can handle him. There's no way he can avoid my punch. I hate this. What? Yeah. Dodge the punch. Direction button. Up, left, right. Ah. Why? Why didn't you just try to avoid it? There's no way they can climb the Great Glacier anyway. Put them in some house in the village. I honestly don't know how the fuzz you're supposed to dodge it. Anyway. You get put in this house. Which I guess would be a great time if you didn't check the videos to check them now. If you want to. Because, well, it's just cool. Now, the Shinra soldiers won't let you out. This is the beginnings of it's going to be hard to get back. So, let's go ahead and take this kid's snowboard. Not illegally, of course. I got hurt on my snowboard, and now I can't go out for a while. Hey, I'll give you my snowboard. And the cat moves out of the way. Now, we get this snowboard. Which looks rather cool, actually. Now, we can go ahead and go down the steep downgrade. The hill is off limits, but... Pff, 
Since when did Cloud listen to the rules? Honestly, he broke into Shinra HQ, broke out, and of course, be careful! He just did a lot of things wrong. Now, anyway, let's do this. This is later a mini game. It's a fun one, too. Basically, what I do is I hold R1 at all times because you can make these really tight turns. Because if you just let go and don't do it, you don't really do tight turns, and you, you have a little less control over yourself, I think. Just don't do them too tight, because otherwise you're going to do stuff like ram into the wall and whatnot. But otherwise you're fine. This doesn't act like, you know, your typical snowboarding game of the era. It acts more like a kind of a clunky little mini game, snowboarding game. Not that that's bad or anything, I don't think it's too bad. But, you know... Anyway, you can really get pretty darn fast. I mean, right now we're only getting 66, but if we just keep going down hills like this without turning too tight, we could get to like 100 kilometers an hour. Which, of course, kilometers an hour is the Japanese standard M miles per hour kind of deal. Woo! Aw. Oh. You don't have to worry about grabbing balloons. I'm just doing it to show off. Oh, See that? I did a backflip. <laughs> I was hoping to get the green one. Those only come to play later back at the Gold Saucer because if you remember correctly, there is a... Oh! Right in the Mog's face. There's a minigame regarding a snowboard there, or at least an arcade machine, so there's got to be at least a minigame. Woo! I love doing this. I mean, look at this. We're pretty much getting 100 kilometers an hour. That is fast! Because, I mean, a kilometer is just a bit longer than a mile, so that's pretty fast. Considering it's, it's the equivalent of 120 miles per hour. And on a snowboard, you wreck, you're dead. And as we all know, Cloud was quote unquote a part of Soldier, so he won't be dying anytime soon. Watch out for the big chocobo snowmen. I don't know why they move, but they do. Now then, there are going to be points where you have to turn, like this one. Turn left. The balloon will try to trick you. Just turn left. Alley oop. Oh, ow. The oop. No, snowballs. Ah, jeez. Oh, <laughs> that hurt. Too much, too much going on. Ah, ah. <laughs> time doesn't matter, but I mean, jeez, it's, it's fun getting to the fastest time possible. Take another left, and this will kind of get you to where you want to go. I haven't checked the guide in quite a while, so I don't exactly know where to go. There are quite a few items you can pick up in this area. It's best to check all areas before, you know, doing it. Now, let's just try to get a good top speed. And we kind of failed. <laughs> you don't need a, like, super fast top speed, but maybe getting fast would be nice. Anyway. We now find ourselves... Ugh. I guess we're still in one piece. Everyone alright? I can't be doing this! Damn! God, I can't stand it! So, where did we land? It seemed like maybe we didn't even jump at all. At times like these, we need the map. Let's open it with the square button. Yeah, it sure is cold. We'll freeze if we stay here any longer. That's your hint. Don't stay there very long. Now then, we are in a forest. The forest I think we're in is the big one that has the fork in it. If you don't know which one I'm talking about, I can't really point it out. I might just use an annotation to like point it out myself, but that's where we wanted to land. So... Where we'll go from here is, firstly, there is a hidden item amongst the trees. Shouldn't be too hard to find. I think... 
Well, there should be at least. I'm not saying there is. Goodness, this is... Oh, there it is. Mine source. Anyway, now let's go to the left. The left should lead us to the cave. Yeah, it will. If we go south, it'll take us to the sign. And that's where we can go back and actually save. But, anyway, I think I'll cut it off here. For good measure, I'm going to put it in the menu. So, guys, please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. In the next part, we're going to be floundering around in this area for a while. So, until then...